Hi, Klaus Hermann here from farbstuhlfoto.com. If your images look flat and you would like to add some more interesting lighting effects to them in post-processing, stay tuned. I'm going to show you a simple trick how to do this in Photoshop. Normally you should try to get the lighting right when you actually shoot the photos, but sometimes the right light is just not there or you're trying to achieve something different in post-processing. Of course there are limits to what you can do to the lighting after you actually shot the photos, but you can still achieve some quite dramatic changes in Photoshop. Let's look at an example here in Photoshop CS6. This is an HD Vertorama of a church and you see that we've got some nice lighting already here with those windows at the edges and the, the light shining through the windows on these pillars and also here on the bottom. But overall there's a bit too much going on here and um, it's not easy to spot really where to look at. So what would really make this uh, image come to life is if we would put a spotlight here on that center part right where, this, where the paintings are on the ceiling. Let me show you what I mean by giving you a before and after. So if you look at the layers panel here at the right side, you see that we have an adjustments group and we have a background image and all the adjustments um, taking effect on this image are inside this group. So I won't go to, into the details of each of these groups, but there's one in particular that is interesting to us and this is called lighting. So this is a group where adjustments are placed that actually change the overall lighting of this image. And if I switch that on, you can see that the image changes quite dramatically. So this is the before, and this is the after. And you see that there are two effects taking place here. One is that the edges are darkened. And the second one is that we actually put a spotlight here right in the center where the paintings are. In an earlier handsome photo tip, I've already shown you how to create a vignette to darken those edges. But how exactly do we create a spotlight? Let's just look into this lighting group here. And you see these two effects, the vignette, is the first thing here, and that's actually only a black fill layer with a layer mask that is revealing the outer edges of that fill layer. Um, and the second layer in this group is our spotlight layer. So let me just turn off this spotlight and you see that the middle of the image is getting darker. If I turn off the vignette, the outside of the edges, the outside of the image is getting brighter. So I turn back on the vignette and I turn back on this spotlight group or the spotlight layer here and you see the actual effect that this has on the image. How do we create such a spotlight? Well, it's really a combination of two things. The first thing that you see is that we have a levels adjustment layer here. And if you look at the properties panel for this adjustment layer, you see that we've pulled this white point slider slightly inwards to the left. So we lowered the white point and that actually brightened the central part of the image. If I move this slider and you look at the image, you see that the more I pull it to the left, the brighter the image gets. The value I've chosen for this image in particular is 207. Again, that's not a magic value at all. That's just depending on your image and the effect you're trying to create. And the second thing that goes on here is this layer mask. And essentially that's the same principle as we have applied for the vignette. And if I activate this layer mask, you see that it's just an oval shaped mask with a very smooth transition towards the black part that hides the rest of this adjustment layer. Let me show you how this is done step by step. First I'm going to deactivate the mask view again and then I'm going to just delete this layer so that we can start from scratch and that I can show you how to actually do this. The first thing that we do is we choose a selection tool here in the toolbar you can actually choose any of the selection tools that you want. In this case, I'm going for an, the elliptic tool and I'm going to draw an oval just over the area where these paintings are, roughly. 
The second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to the adjustments panel ob over here and I'm clicking on this levels icon and that creates our levels layer and you see that the selection that we've just created is turned into a mask. And if you look at this mask by holding down the Alt or the Option key on your keyboard, you can see that we've got this oval area here with the harsh edge to it. It's nothing like the smooth transition that we've seen before, but we're going to take care of this in a minute. For now, let's start with the adjustment layer that we've created. So here we've got this levels layer, the histogram showing in the properties panel, and we go ahead and just drag this white point slider to the left, to a value of about 207 or something, and you see that we've got this brighter portion here with the harsh edge. The only thing that's left to do now is to create this nice smooth transition that we've seen before, and to do this I'm going to click on that mask, and you see that up here in the properties panel you see the mask properties appear. And there are two sliders here, and the one that we're interested in is this feather slider. And using this feather slider, by dragging it to the right, you can smooth out the edge of this mask. The further to the right I'm, drawing the, I'm dragging this, the smoother the edge of this mask is getting. Somewhere around, let's say, 250 pixels for this case should be a good value. And that's really all you need to do to create a spotlight in your photo. And the nice thing about this technique is that all of this is non-destructive. So whenever you like, you can go to the Levels Adjustment layer and adjust the white point, make it brighter or make it darker, or maybe increase the mid-tone brightness here. Or you can go to the Layer Mask and change the feather radius to make the spotlight more focused or to make a smoother transition. Let me just reset that here, those changes that I've just made, and let me show you the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. And you see that this really gives your image more depth and a more interesting light. Um, just in post-processing without doing anything in camera. As a final tip, just remember that subtlety is key here. If you overdo this effect, your image may start looking very unnatural very quickly. So be subtle with the parameters, don't overdo it, and you have a really nice tool here to adjust the overall lighting in your photos. Okay, so that's it for this episode of Hands-On Photo Tips. Bye-bye, and see you next time.